What's up, Bertini fam? Now in today's video, I have some pretty cool stuff for you guys. First things first, we're gonna be getting rid of this ugly kickstand and replacing it with this nice, beautiful black one I got here. Now that's not the only thing I got for you guys. Next on my list of changes is replacing these mirrors that I got here. I believe they're from Harley Davidson, but we're gonna be taking these things off. I've never been crazy about that profile that's on there, and I've never been crazy about this piece, the way that it's shaped. Now I know that's something super silly to pick at, but you like what you like. Anyways, with that being said, do me a big favor, if you have not shown me any love and support of my YouTube channel, do me a big favor and click that subscribe button right now. You'll be helping me out greatly, and of course, you'll be putting good energy out there into the world. Duh. Fine. Now with all those formalities out of the way, go ahead and roll the intro. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove this chrome kickstand and replace it with that nice pretty black one. And then I'll go ahead and show you what's in this nice brown box over here. Now, more of an FYI, if you are not planning on jacking up your bike, which you will have to do, don't be a dummy and try to remove a kickstand without jacking up your bike. That will be no bueno. But since we have a bike stand right here, we're gonna go ahead and put the bike on the bike stand and then remove the kickstand off and put the new one on. It's that simple. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to how cool a bike looks on a bike stand, especially when it's a big ass bike like one of these. Look at how sexy, it just looks so nice. Very pretty, very pretty. All right, enough joking around. Let's go ahead and get this kickstand off. All right, now there's a few things you're gonna have to use from your old kickstand for this new setup, is you're gonna have to use this spring, this stopper over here, this rubber stopper, and then you're also gonna have to use this nut and washer, or bolt and washer. So as I was building the new kickstand, one thing that wasn't included in this kit that I got here was this piece right here, but I did remove it from the old kickstand, um, but unfortunately it's gonna stay in this chrome look. I polished it to a mirror finish, um, just so it's not all dull and looks like crap like it was on the other one. Um, and then I also polished the nut and washer as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put some new blue Loctite on this and then get it all torqued down and then back onto the bike. One quick thing, before you install the Jiffy stand back on, make sure to put some anti-seize on the bolts just so nothing gets locked up or rusted in there. Also too, so you'd be able to get them out when you wanna get them back out. All right, well, kickstand is done, as you can see, and it looks so much nicer. Obviously functions, which is good. Nice and smoothly. Very nice, very nice. You got somebody that's strapped to the top of your car. You need to sit in that passenger seat, boss. Only men and bears are allowed inside car. Anyways, if you are wondering what the torque spec is on those bolts, it is 42 foot pounds. That's what the service manual calls for to do those. So if you are looking to do this on your own, that's what you need to torque them down to. Man, it's crazy what something so simple as that can actually do to the look of the bike. That looks so much better now. Ah, I love it. All right, now on to the mirrors. All right, let me give you one last look of what these look like from the front so you guys can see what the difference is gonna be after we take them off of the bike. I mean, they're not bad, it's just, they're not my style. And so that's why I think I wanna get rid of them and take them off. Hopefully we'll shave some weight off at the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and take them off. Time to open this brown box. And for that, we need our handy dandy X-Acto knife. Let's see what we got. Do you guys like my angel voice? So 
Angelic. Yes. <laughs> Mini Stalker, Forged Mirror. Not sure what Forged Mirror means, but it sounds really cool. Mini Stalker, Billet Mirror. I wonder what's the difference between Forged. Oh, I know the difference between Forged and Billet. What am I saying? And look where it was made. Dublin, Ireland. Nope, that's California. Dublin, California is where it was made. <laughs> we got to you, of course. Here, that's all we got. Yeah. All right, now let's see what all comes in the box. We got some screws. Oh my gosh, these are so much nicer in person. Whoa, these are nice. Look how pretty. These look good. These look really, really good. I'm excited for these. All right, cool. Let's get the other one unboxed, and then we need to get these two weighed up, and also these two weighed up. Look at the size comparison difference. I mean, it is dramatically different in size, like from all angles. Dramatic difference. It feels a bit of a difference too in weight, but of course we need to get them on the scale to figure out how much weight we're actually saving, if possible, um, from going to the Arlen Ness mirrors. All right, now real quick, before I weigh these up, I wanna just show you in case you are wondering and you have the same bike as mine, which is a Street Glide, the Arlen Ness uh, mirrors are going to come with two different shaft sizes. It's gonna come with one longer one, and then it's gonna come with one shorter one. In this instance, you're definitely going to want the longer one. That's what she said. Don't you dare. Because these shorter ones are fatter and they won't fit in the hole properly. That's what she said! I have no idea why that came out so dirty sounding. All right, so first up is the mirrors from Arlen Ness. One of them weighs eight ounces. Oh my gosh, that's crazy light. All right, and now the other, let's see if we can get it on here without it falling off. It's like all sliding all over the place here. Let's see if we can get it on here. One pound, one ounce. Wow, that seems really light. All right, now for the ones from Harley. So we are at one pound, 15 ounces. So we are saving about 14 ounces by going to the mirrors from Arlen S. We'll be saving, yeah, roughly, um, roughly 14 ounces, maybe a little bit more than that if you were to count this in grams, but yeah, overall, it's not about the weight savings, although that is really nice to know that I'm saving almost a pound in just mirrors in general by switching to the Arlen Ness ones, but for me, it's more the look. So let's go ahead and get these things mounted on the bike. gosh, did that come out good. It's so crazy to think, like just changing out your mirrors, how it could just change the look of the front end on your bike. It's just, it's so different by just adding mirrors, what it can do. I felt that same way, by the way, when I changed my headlight, it was like, wow, what a difference it can make in the front end. Obviously, a shield does the exact same thing, so I feel like those three pieces right there just completely transform the look of the front end on your bike. In terms of these mirrors though, man, that quality, Arlen Ness, man, they just knocked it out of the park with the quality on these mirrors. I'm almost forgetting to do one last thing here. Man, that thing came out so nice. I'm so happy with it. Stuff like this, it's like, it's just the little things that just transform the look of the bike and it's just so nice to have. Anyways, I know today was a short video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it though. Let me know what you think about these mirrors. Maybe they're not your style. I know Arlen Ness has a few different styles of these. These were the ones that I felt were my favorite and so that's the ones that I went with. But of course, you can let me know in the comment section down below if you feel I should've went with a different style, if I should've kept the ones I had on there or if I made a smart decision by going with these ones from Arlen Ness. With that being said, you're gonna have to stay up to date on my review videos if you're really interested in finding out 
what I think about these mirrors in the long run. And you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned in to my next video because that one is gonna be a big change to the bike. It's gonna change how the bike rides and feels when I'm out there on the road maneuvering it and doing all sorts of other stuff that I do on this bike. So I hope you guys click that subscribe button. This way you can stay up to date on all of my content. And remember, most importantly of all, make sure you're putting out good energy out there into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.